In this video I'm going to hopefully show you how to fix this particular error. And if you let this thing uh, reboot by itself, it enters a sort of a boot loop, at least uh, for me, I will show you in a moment, that results in another error. So preparing automatic repair and we are greeted with this weird error and it says something about storage so what I'm thinking either storage is starting to fail or maybe some settings got uh, mixed up in the BIOS I will attempt to enter BIOS and see if everything is okay there and then boot from a USB drive and see if I can actually access the hard drive of this uh, particular PC BIOS seems to be ok, so I'm back at this uh, particular issue. Troubleshooting continues. And if you are wondering what I check in the BIOS, uh, where is computer setup in this case? Mostly uh, I check storage options and see if uh, this wasn't changed from AHCI to ID or something like that. Uh, changing this will uh, not allow your computer to boot anymore but it seems this was still on AHCI so that's not the issue here okay so I need to show you one thing you need to enter uh, the automatic repair menu mine enters it uh, automatically but some might not so what you need to do to enter this menu, power it on, it's on, let it show the Windows logo for a second, so not yet, not yet, Windows logo, hold the power button to shut it off. You might need to hold it one or two or three seconds depending on the model. Power it on once again and do this cycling do not let it uh, try and load windows more than one or two seconds after you see that logo and you should get this luckily for me it's right uh, after the second uh, the second try so it's quite easy okay and uh, while we are here at least in my case f8 for startup settings and we will try with 7 or F7, depends on what you, will, uh, you like. I will push 7. We will um, uh, try this method. If it doesn't work, we will go to something else. And sad, uh, sadly, in my case, this does not work. So that didn't work. Let's try safe mode. Maybe we are lucky, maybe not. What I want to tell you at this point, I'm trying my best to start Windows to see what files are on this computer and save them, the personal ones, to a USB drive. And then, doesn't really matter if I format the hard drive or whatever to fix this issue, once I save the files. But this thing still doesn't want to work. Okay, so this isn't really working. I will try with this. It has a Windows 10 um, uh, kit on it, so it's a bootable drive. I will put a link in the description showing you how to create one of these. And if I could actually insert it into a USB there, that would be awesome. So hopefully I have a Windows 10 on that thing. That's what I remember. I will press escape to boot from it right about now and I need to go to boot menu and I think this is the uh, the one let's see what we get yep and it seems we do have Windows 10 on that thing I was lucky this time a nope maybe I actually didn't and it tried to start from the hard drive once again hmm 
We'll try something else. I have on this thing uh, Hiron's Boot CD. I will put a link to Hiron's Boot CD in the description. This is another software actually. It's not directly Hiron Boot CD because I have a lot of software on this particular USB drive. So I need to go and uh, select it. And now here it is, I think. Yep. But you can have on a CD directly this thing, so it will boot directly as it's booting now. And from this, what I want, you can actually even test the memory in case you suspect a memory problem, but I don't think it's a memory problem. Anyway, let's start mini Windows XP and see if we can actually see the hard drive and uh, the files on it. And it has started up. Let's see if we can actually see the hard drives, and we can. So here they are. And they are actually accessible. So I don't think the hard drives are damaged. Somehow only the boot files on them are damaged. Another thing that I will do, I want to make sure that I actually have a Windows 10 install kit on this particular drive. I will plug it in here and see what files are on it. Maybe I was mistaken. No, that thing is empty, so I need to use this laptop right here to create a Windows 10 bootable drive on that black uh, USB drive. Just wanted to add that at this point I can actually browse this uh, this hard drive which has two partitions and get any files that I need from users. For example, this was the user I think uh, from documents. I, I can get anything that I actually need to get. So uh, pff, downloads. You can save everything that you want on your USB drive at this point in case you suspect the hard drive is failing. But from what I see here, I don't think the hard drive is failing. Just some files from Windows got corrupted. So again, let's make a bootable drive on this particular laptop. So to create a bootable disk, get a free uh, or, or not free, empty USB drive, plug it in, go to Google or any browser, search for media creation tool, Hit enter and go to the first link. And it will uh, take you to this. And it's asking you lower if you want to install Windows uh, on another PC. Yeah, it's in Romanian, it detects automatically. So download the tool now. It will be for you if it's English. And uh, yeah, save it in downloads. Once it's, uh, it's saved, open it up. Yep. And in any moment now it will start up and uh, ask us what uh, we want to do. Finished whatever it was doing. Click on uh, accept. And again to finalizing stuff. At this point it's asking me if I want to upgrade this PC or if I want to create a bootable USB, DVD or whatever for another PC. So I want to do that, create a bootable USD, uh, USB. Uh, uncheck this so you actually decide what you install so for language, uh, was it English? I don't think it really matters. Windows 10, yeah. And for 64, 32 bit, let's put both of them just in case. And next. Yeah, you have to have at least eight gigabytes uh, uh, on your USB drive. Next, it sees it and uh, Let's start and uh, put Windows on it in, and it will take a bit of time because this kit is quite big. And uh, yeah, make sure you don't have anything on a USB drive obviously before doing this. Oh, just wanted to add something when doing this. Maybe it's a good idea to disable your antivirus. I don't know why, but in some cases 
uh, it gave me an error so I will disable it uh, until I create this bootable drive. Not sure why it does that, uh, does that but it happens so better safe than sorry. And this is finished. So where is my mouse? Let's click on finish and close this thing. We have a Windows 10 bootable drive at this point, so let's plug it into that PC in the back. Take two booting from the USB drive and I need to put the keyboard right here and press escape. I have a series of videos uh, that uh, show how to enter the boot menu and on many laptops PCs. I will put that also in the description. So let's go to boot menu and legacy and voila. I wonder what did I have here. I think I had 64 bit. So let's go to 64 bit at this point. Weirdly enough, this thing thinks I started an upgrade. Well, uh, no, let's continue in the installation. We need to, to to choose these settings. I think they are okay. I'm not going to be bothered and select everything like I should because I'm not going to install it. I just need to repair it. So click on repair this PC. And then go to troubleshoot and command prompt. And here we need to enter a few commands if my camera would focus. So I'll be back in a second. So this is the first one, let's hit enter. So this is done, let's put the next one in. Next one entered, access denied. Hmm, that's not good. Let's try the last comment, maybe this works. Okay, this one seems to be doing something. Hopefully we will get away without that one working. If it, we don't, I need to investigate why that one doesn't work. So the operation completed successfully. Yay! I think there is a command exit, if I remember correctly. And yep, there is. So let me go to turn off your PC. It's off now. Power it on. I won't remove that because it will still boot from its hard drive and uh, yeah, see if it actually works or not. Hopefully it does. I don't want to continue to try and troubleshoot this thing. Yikes, escape, cancel. Now it should boot from the hard drive. No automatic repair, why are you going there? Yeah, I don't like this. Take two, remove this thing and let me see if this works. I hope it's not hardware failure, but it shouldn't be. I can actually see the files. I didn't copy anything because uh, it seems there isn't much to be copied from this uh, thing after all. Only a, a Counter-Strike install, so that can be done again. Yep, and we are still back at this particular problem. Which kind of sucks. Once again we are going to boot from that particular thing. And hopefully this has a system restore point on it. This particular computer. So boot menu. This one. Yep, Windows 10 64 bit setup. We'll wait for these files to actually load. So we are back at this point. Next. Repair your computer and troubleshoot. Let's see, system restore. Windows 10. Hope there is at least one restore point and no, there isn't. Uh, kids, make restore points every single time uh, you install something new because it could break your computer as this one is. So at this point I could, uh, if I don't want to lose my files, simply continue with the Windows 10 install on top of the old one. 
I will not lose my files. I will lose my settings and I will lose my apps, installed apps. But personal files are not deleted when you simply install on top of the old one. Do not format the hard drive. Just install on top of the old Windows on the same partition. So yeah, but for me, I'm not going that route because I was uh, smart enough when I first uh, installed software on this particular PC before I gave it away to make a backup of C drive on D drive. So I will use the backup on the D drive to restore the C drive to what it was, I think, two years ago, something like that. Anyway, so that should be good. Uh, again, I want to tell you, do backups as much as you can. It can save you from uh, situations as ugly as this one. Just wanted to add something. You can even use the uninstall updates feature. Uh, quality update, feature update. Ah, I don't know. Any of them. Hopefully it will work. Even updates can uh, can sometimes uh, make Windows not power on anymore, not boot up. So let's even try this before we we use the backup. Latest quality update gave me an, an error, so let's try latest feature update. Hopefully I don't get, yeah, the same error. So this Windows install is quite gunsky. Again, you can fix this by installing a, a fresh Windows 10 on top of the old one. Your personal files will be kept. I will put a link in the description that shows how the files are kept. But for me, where is my finger? Using the backup option now. Well, this is awkward. It seems I'm unable to access my hard drive anymore. If I go to computer setup storage, wah, 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 the SSD is here no more. So I'm thinking at this point, is this SSD actually failing or is it just a bad connection somewhere that actually messed up Windows and does this at uh, this particular point in time? And this thing is opened up and yes, this is held in place with double-sided tape, so I need to try and get it out and move it around a little bit to make sure it's making good contact again. And try and power on this, uh, this thing once again, see if we get any errors or if everything is okay at this point. That's about the only thing that I can do. And maybe take out this cover and make sure all the cables are actually plugged in where they should be. Let's unplug this little guy. Plug it back in. Same goes for this. Weirdly enough, I have seen situations over time when uh, just a bad connection would cause all sorts of uh, weird uh, errors and corruptions and whatnot. Uh, if I'm here, I could do the same with the memory. Unplug them both. Although I didn't see this as a as a memory problem, but again, I'm already in this area, so it doesn't hurt to uh, wiggle it around and make sure it makes good contact. Did I plug it in properly? Yeah, it's all the way in. <sighs> this happens when you fix computers. There's never uh, an easy way. It's always weird. Hopefully it ends up working. And this ends for me here because Nothing that I do uh, brings back that uh, uh, SSD and probably that is why I, I, uh, why I was getting the error. Yeah, my baby in the background. Uh, I need to put a new SSD in and install Windows 10 from scratch and that's about it. When you manage to just read a little bit like I did, to see it, 
copy everything that you can from it because you don't know when it will fail if you get the errors that uh, I got so yeah thank you very much for watching hopefully you have better luck than I did anyway yeah <laughs> see you in the next one bye